Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday. Uh, it's about 66 degrees right now. It hit 71. The sun was out a little bit earlier, but mostly cloudy all day long. Uh, yeah, typical fall day here. I'm loving these temperatures that are <laughs> 30 degrees cooler than it was just a little while ago. Let's put some eggs in an incubator. I have 21 eggs going into the incubator. On the left here are, these are Welsomer eggs. I have two Welsomer hens. And these are their eggs. They're a little, they are, well, quite a bit darker in the spring than they are right now. And then these are White and True Blues. These are Mary Tyler Moore and Private Benjamin. They're in with Larry. The White and True Blue Rooster and the Welsomers are also in with Larry the White and True Blue Rooster. So Larry is the father of most of the progeny that I have running around here right now. And they're ready to go. 21 eggs. And away they go. I can fit a few more eggs in there, but I can, uh, if I get a few more tomorrow, I can throw them in there and see what happens. But this is good enough. Better to get them in sooner rather than later. I started this incubator up a couple days ago just to get it, uh, you know, calibrated as far as the temperature goes. I was going to show you off, but you guys go to bed early these days, huh? That's Mary Tyler Moore like the blue lavender and then next to her is uh, Private Benjamin and that's Larry the father and then here we have one of the Welsomers so yeah one of her eggs some of her eggs are in there and some of her eggs those are my two Welsomers all right I hope we get lots of your babies I tell you, Larry, you're the father of like dozens of the kids running around here. You're the big man on campus. That is Larry Jr. He's Larry's son, so he'll be one of their older brothers. And most of the boys have grown up to, uh, to look just like Larry. But uh, I've got a couple young ones that might have been uh, Mary Tyler Moore's son. So I'll be interested to see the lavender color variety. But yep, and they're very nice. Never attack me. Very cool. And we've got a 2.2 in our little ankle biters. How we doing? It's probably the chilliest day you've ever uh, ever experienced. Y'all look good. Go follow mommy. Uh, time for bed, little ones. The girls from this hatch will hopefully grow up to look like their older sisters. This is Barb there on the left. Yeah, she's the lavender one. Looks very much like Mary Tyler Moore. And then this is Kelly. She's the one there on the left. Um, has the, the red leg band. She looks a lot like Private Benjamin, except um, not much of a the beard side action. And then this one is also one of the sisters. I'm not keeping her for my breeding program because she's got a crooked toe. Now that may have happened when she was young and broke it, but they can also be born like that, and that can be a genetic defect. So just in case, I won't be using her for my breeding program and she'll probably find a new home but uh, Barb there yeah you're gonna be sticking around and so is Kelly and I've got another one let's go find Leanne there's Leanne and that's Daryl but yeah Leanne it looks very very much like Private Benjamin yes you do So yeah, the females will hopefully grow up to look like these these ladies right here, who have just one of them, at least one of them has started laying. Nice blue egg.
am hatching every white and true blue egg that they lay <laughs> which is probably not advisable um yeah so most of these we'll see what my numbers are in the spring see these will hatch in november so december january february march april may they'll start laying uh, around may bob shaking the table and uh but you don't want to start hatching their eggs as soon as they start laying them so it'll probably be you know june uh probably july or august before i would start hatching their eggs and we'll see how the numbers play out uh some of these uh if if the numbers play out in my favor as far as males females and survival rate and all that stuff then some of these might be available next summer or uh yeah even next spring because i'll know the boys from the girls by then and if not if i still need to increase my own numbers of white and true blues i'll be keeping them for myself so yep i'm just gonna keep the train going down the track every time i get enough white and true blue eggs are going in the incubator um yeah okay so that's all on that uh let's see another another topic i wanted to talk about is we're talking about egg colors uh something about the morans and other breeds that lay the really dark brown eggs typically the breeds that lay the really dark brown eggs don't lay as many eggs as your average hen um and certainly not as many eggs as like the leghorns and the white and true blues which were bred for egg production uh the thing about the really dark brown eggs is it takes longer to go through a hen system because they're putting more and more brown pigment on top of the white shell and so that uh that really dark brown egg takes longer to go through her system until she lays it and so therefore over the course of a year uh morans are not known to lay more than 200 uh eggs in a year whereas you know the leghorns are known to lay 350 eggs uh in a year so that's that's one interesting thing sometimes uh for the egg colors you're going to trade off the egg production and yeah the the whole chicken genetic world is kind of crazy and i am enjoying it so that's all for this thursday thank you so much for watching thanks for this awesome opportunity here at bobblehead homestead in arkansas i will see you tomorrow take her easy everybody Missed the spot, Bob. Yeah, that's the spot right there.